Welcome to Electra Online. Here in this video, we're going to introduce to you what we call the law of detachment. It turns out that when we're comparing angles to one another, that law sometimes comes in handy. So what is the law of detachment? It's often quite misunderstood, but hopefully with this definition here and a couple of examples, we can get through this and understand what it really means. So if we have a condition that is true, then we can make a particular conclusion. Then, if the condition applies to a certain situation, therefore we can then say the conclusion applies as well. So here's an example of that. If an angle is less than 90 degrees, then the angle is acute. If we measure an angle to be 45 degrees, therefore we can conclude that the angle is acute. And that is what we call the law of detachment. We have a condition, and then we have a conclusion. If it meets the, the condition, then it also meets conclusion. We can then conclude that about the specific measurement or the specific observation. Here's another, another example. If two angles are opposite angles, then they have the same measure. Now we have angles A and B, and we conclude that they are opposite angles. Therefore, we can also conclude that the angles A and B have the same measure. That is what we call the law of detachment. And yes, we will need that law when we start comparing angles to one another. And that's how it's done. 